Scott Tempesta from Sailing Anarchy. This is another one of our retro look videos where we take a look back in time. Eh, not that far back, but back there a ways. We've done the Ericsson 35 Mark II, we've done the J30. Today we're going to do a boat you might have heard about. It's called the Cal 40. One of the first production boats that actually had some performance. These boats came out in 1963, if you can imagine that. Something like 60 years ago. Uh, they built 160 of them. And the thing that was so, well, there were a number of things that were so amazing about the Cal 40. First of all, they were relatively light for a boat of their time. It was 15,000 pounds. Secondarily, I believe it was one of the very first production boats that did not have the full uh, keel with the rudder attached on the back. They did a, what was called a, spade, uh, a, a keel with a spade rudder attached at the aft end of the boat. Made the boat more responsive, higher performance. And in terms of performance, the one thing that these boats are known for is how quick they were downwind. The boat just had the ability to surf with a lot of boats in its size range. Hell, a lot of boats at all in that time didn't surf. The Cal 40s did. Do you want to know how well they surfed? They won the 1965 Transpac. They won the 1967 Transpac. They won the 1969 Transpac. That's quite a pedigree. This is hole number 26 or 126, excuse me, owned by Carissa Crawford. Let's take a look. This is a pristine example of the breed. Uh, it, the boat has, is almost original shape. It's had a little repainting, but otherwise the boat is so true to its pedigree. Um, one of the things that you'll notice about this boat, and I'll just go ahead and step back, is again, much like with the Ericsson 35 Mark II, incredibly wide side decks. Very nice for crew, for walking around the boat. Super, super uh, pleasant. The other thing that's great about this boat, sort of like the Ericsson 35 Mark II, is the cabin house. It's just so lo long and low, and it fits within the profile of the boat really, really well. So the end result is you've got a boat that's incredibly handsome from almost every angle that you look at the boat. Now I happen to be standing by the cockpit. This boat has a nice little addition that I think everybody should have. He's got a little cockpit table here, but the one thing I want you to see about this Cal 40 cockpit is, my God, now this is a cockpit. I mean, I think I made some fun of another boat about laying down, but I'm not making any fun here. This thing is the real deal. I mean, you talk about roomy. Again, 1963. This boat was designed by William Lapworth, uh, like, like almost all of the Cal boats, and it just set the tone for what a proper boat is supposed to look like. This boat came with a tiller. It has a tiller, and it's supposed to have a tiller. The one thing that boats of this generation had a slight problem with is since the rudder is relatively far forward, then the rudder head has to be far forward, and then the tiller has to be a certain length to steer the boat from. So if the table wasn't there, you'd imagine the tiller going probably right about here in the cockpit. Guess what? It doesn't leave a lot of room for everybody else, but that's just the way it is. When you tack, you just clean people out of the cockpit. They're not supposed to be lounging back here anyway. Um, so the boat was very easy to steer. Tiller is far more responsive than a wheel, and a wheel would look really funny on this boat anyway. So in the OG form, it makes perfect sense. It fit with the times, and just call this the cockpit killer. That's all. True to its OG form, this boat still has the OG instruments. Now today's instruments are so sophisticated. The electronics are incredible. Every single piece of data that you want, you can get if you spend the money. Back in the day, nah, nah, nah. There was a speedometer. There was a apparent wind direction. That was kind of it. And then how deep the water was. And that was pretty much it. You didn't really need anything else, you know, clean, nice, minimal data because this boat is kind of a minimalist, minimalist boat. And that's really all you need to know. How fast are we going? Where's the wind coming from? We got enough water where we're not gonna run our ground. Perfect. Let's go down below. All right, here we are down below Cal 40. It's very similar to the deck if you think about it. Nice and open, really comfortable, plenty of passageway through here. Very traditional layout. Aft galley and sink. There is a quarter berth back there that, by the way, is a pretty decent sized quarter berth. Flip over to here. This would have sort of constituted 
It's the icebox slash kind of navigation station. They didn't really have them in 1963, I guess. Again, another decent sized quarter berth. This is all really good, great roomy, and I imagine the guys just, just did their chart work here. When you go forward here, you have the two set tees here, and since they raced, this boat was designed to race, they will have also had an upper set tee there and another one over here. That way, if you were racing and you wanted the weight forward, say you're going upwind, you could put two guys here uh, on this side and the weather side. Conversely, if the wind was really light and you need a little bit of heel, you could put two guys down here just to keep the weight forward and, and generate a little bit of heel. This boat has the folding table that comes out for dining. I mean, uh, you, it gets so comfortable and it seats. I mean, if it seats six people there easily, it sits six people here for dinner. Very nice boat down below. This boat has something a little different. It has a heater, uh, which I don't think we're gonna use much of in San Diego, but there it is. This is a feature if you take the boat someplace and it's cold. Let's go forward. Here we are. Keel step mast, nice, probably solid fiberglass for the mast step. I don't ever think they ever had any issues there. Another nice feature of this boat, big roomy head, uh, sink, the head itself. You've got a nice double hanging locker here. And then you probably have one of the nicest size v -bers with a really nice locker here uh, to hold anything in terms of clothing. Again, the boat sort of reeks of, of well, it reeks of classic, uh, but it also reeks of like roomy and efficient and just a pleasant place to be. Personally, probably because I'm old, I happen to like this layout. So hey guys, that's our retro look for the Cal 40. If you like it, hit the like button. If you wanna see more of these, please subscribe. And if you'd like to send us a boat that you want us to, to do, just go ahead and put that in the comments section.